You might see this industrial little table and think it's old and tired and worn, but I picture it as a little bistro table outside a French cafe. Thanks for watching the DIY A Go Go YouTube channel. I'm Rhonda Church Finfrock of Fruitful Life Studio, and this is a super quick flip. I started out by sanding the top, but I left a lot of the flaws and blemishes because I did want it to look old and used and loved. While I worked on this table, it reminded me of my trip to France. My favorite things were sitting at a sidewalk cafe, people watching, eating wonderful foods, and visiting the local fresh markets. At this market, I purchased a hand-carved little bowl that I now use for olives and charcuterie. To embellish this table, one of the things I'm using is a first-generation IOD decor transfer. Those are available on my website while supplies last. I had enough left over from this table to create a sign for later. Okay, time to stop daydreaming about my trip to France and get to work. Here I'm using an empty old and gray jar and I'm mixing in some dark and decrepit with some old and gray and water to make a stain or a patina for the top of my table. I used my DIY paint blending brush and gave this tabletop two coats of the mixture that I call DIY patina fusion. Because I did not heavily sand, it did give a lot of variation in the color, but I really liked that. It almost reminded me of an old wine barrel. Now for the third DIY patina I will use. This is the crystal clear liquid patina, and I'm giving the table a coat of this to prep it for the decor transfer. There are plenty of videos on using an IOD decor transfer. You want to keep the backing on it until you are ready to apply. You rub the transfer onto the piece with the stick provided and then make sure you burnish well. If you pull back the transfer and see that some of it, some of it did not adhere to the table, you can place it back down and keep rubbing. Be patient and don't get in a hurry like I do. <laughs> make sure you burnish well before continuing to seal your piece. While I was burnishing, a few little pieces came off, so I decided to hand paint them with some white paint. I thought I did a pretty good job concealing some of these flaws, but then when I put another layer of the liquid patina on top just to protect the transfer even more, I smeared the paint a bit. It was reactivated. So if you do this, just be careful. I didn't stress about the smeared detail painting because I knew I could camouflage it using the patina fusion that I had mixed up as well as some golden ticket. I used a palette knife to apply some of the golden ticket but in the end, I think I like using a dry brush better. I probably would have had more control, but overall it blended in and it looked great. I would have been done by now, but I was a little bothered by the high contrast in the brand new white transfer compared to the weathered look of the table. So I brushed the entire surface with my fusion mixture, the mix of old and gray patina, dark and decrepit patina, and water. It toned it down just enough. The tabletop is done, but now I was so inspired with all the detail of the beautiful architectural features from my photos that I decided this little table needed some more bling. I used Golden Ticket and one of my IOD decor stamps for the finishing touches. 
To purchase the DIY paint patinas and IOD transfers and stamps, contact your local DIY paint retailer and IOD stockist or visit my website, fruitfullifestudio.com. Here I am using an IOD brayer to roll on the golden ticket patina so that I can stamp it onto the table. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to this DIY A Go Go YouTube channel as well as my channel. All the links will be in the comments below.